my people in London. Please join me to celebrate my 68th birthday and 50 years on stage. Get ready, get ready, get ready. This summer, Shinomania live in London. Afro Juju legend, Sir Shinna Peters, live at the world famous Indigo O2 London, Sunday the 1st of July. For tickets and info, cocobar.com and axs.com. 0208 953 1219 07495 349 431. Date July 1st. Shinna Come witness Sir Shinna Peters, the icon, live. Powered by One Music, One Sound, CocoBar.com, and Phoenix Media. Supported by DJA Media, Drew UEPR, and Your Fresh TV. My name is Isaac Olushino Peters. People call me Star, some call me Star Shino Peters, some SSP. What a journey. <clears throat> I come from Kerugun and Seravo background. At age of eight, I was the head of the choir in, the, in our church. That's where I learned how to play piano but then we call it organ. There's no way you can be a Kerubud and Seravo blood without having a trace of music in you. Initially, my parents <laughs> wanted me to become a doctor, lawyer, accountant, but you see, destiny, destiny has its own way. Initially, I, I succumbed to their suggestions. By the time we, by the time I left my primary school education at uh, Ijoko, Ota, then I came back to Lagos with my parents. My parents are very rich in religious wise but very poor financial wise they rented one room apartment i will sleep on the floor with definitely with some mats and cover myself up with my one of my mother's wrapper both of them will sleep on the bed and we are three myself Benga, then Yomi Peters is the last born of the family. A day to the time for me to go to uh, secondary school, I had this dream. I dreamt an old, very, very shrink old man asked me what am I going to do, what I, what I would like to do. And I said, I would have preferred to play music, but my parents won't allow me to. So he said, okay, I should put whatever I want to, whatever I like to become, write it in my palm. So I wrote music in my left hand and I wrote school in my right hand, thinking because I want to please my parents, thinking that, okay, well, anything from the right side of right, it's always positive. But he asked me to open my hands. I put education on my right hand and put music on the left hand. And he asked me to open my right hand. This is a dream. To my surprise, then I opened my hand, my right hand, and I saw music. Then I woke up. Then I asked my parents. I woke them up around 1.30. I woke them up. They are like, son, what happened? I said, you know what? I'm not going to school. Hmm. It's like, you are not what? I said, Dad, Mom, I'm sorry. I'm not going. 
But let me tell you, I've been thinking the arrangement of me sleeping on the floor, hearing my parents midnight arguing with each other, like I told you, that is like the height of poverty. Then I said to myself, being the firstborn of the family, I'm not a subject of poverty. I'm into this world to be a successful man. Nobody knows my father, nobody knows my mother. But through me, the whole world will know them by the time. And they sent me away. We call something taboo. When a bad when a bad leg wants to leave a particular place, the poor snap on the part of the person that we don't want to see this type of bad luck again. So I left that house around 2 30 a.m. midnight. Then I trek from Mosho the railway station, followed the rail to Temi Ogbe Hotel. Then because I've learned how to play Akuba in the church, so I just uh, at that age, I just entered the place and went straight to the stage and take the Akuba from the guy that was playing it and I started playing and see people put, putting coins, shillings, one shilling. See? This time it's not a church audience, it's, this time it's a social audience. I can say that is the beginning of my journey. It was to me then, I counted my money, then it's about close to one pound. And to me, this is, it, it was like a success. But unfortunately, the owner of that hotel asked them to, to chase me out because I was still under age. Then you cannot enter any hotel if you are still under 18. And I'm like eight. I was, I was like eight then because I remember uh, immediately I left my primary education, you know. So, but a prostitute came to my rescue with that situation. He said, go first, stay there. Don't go anywhere, just stay here. I will come for you later. After every, after they closed the club, everything, she went and opened and asked me to come, which I did. Because I don't know any, I don't know anywhere in Lagos, I don't know anybody. And the name of the woman, I can never, never, never forget in my life. Her name is Justina. Then, well, I follow her. I don't uh, they have any choice. And <laughs> this woman, one of our customers knocked at the door. Then she asked me to sleep on the floor again. Then I said to myself, because of this floor, 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 see me again. Well, I slept on the floor in the morning. The guy left the room for us and she asked me, what am I going to eat, you know? So when people are around, she will ask me, she will lock me in. When people are not around, she, I have my own limitation in the compound. This particular thing continued for almost two weeks. And that was the time she has saved a lot that she's going to, uh, hometown, I think Ujo. So she always saved her money, put it inside the pillow. Unfortunately, she forgot where she put her money. And she shouted, they'll call me, oh, I say, Natif. 
I say, who be thief? Thief, okay? Say, yes. All our friends in the same compound, you know, this person. <laughs> there are a lot of things that. <laughs> now, immediately that thing say yes, you are under crucifixion. You refuse to give, uh, you refuse to obey your parents' order. So you must pay price for it. I had a pitting of my life. They took me to Olosun Police Station, Mushi. By his grace, we met a friend of my father as the DPO of the station. And he said, Shino, you are the son of Mr. Emmanuel Adapopetas. I said, yes, sir. What happened? Do you mind? They shot your trap. Let him talk. So I explained my own side of the story. And he said, go to my office. When we are doing all this, unknowingly the woman went back to his room and he found the money that she was looking for. And she came back that Oga, 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 officer, please. This is my money. Please leave the, leave the poor boy for me. No, the DB said, no way. So the, the, the man, my father's friend, asked one of his uh, junior to take me to his house that I should take my bath. And when he came back, he gave me oversized shorts and oversized shirt. Before he came back, you know what I did? <laughs> There was a, a hotel called Mif Mayflower Hotel, Abalabi. I just went, I was, I was, I ju I was, you see, when you are just looking for something that you don't even know how to explain it, that thing just, you know, go, you, you cannot stay with police, the uh, policeman is going to call your father, daddy and there's coming to, you know, so I said, okay, I decided to be, I was trekking, then I saw the hotel, and I went into the hotel, before I know it, I was inside Chief Commander Ebenezer Obi's house. Normally, uh, Mayflower is like station for all artists, when they finish playing, you know, they all assemble there. So I saw one of Shikon and Ebony Salve. That's how I met me so rest in peace. We call it Captain Samson Ogonade. He was the one that took me to his house from that hotel. Then he said, he said I'm going to Ebony Salve's house. Sir, please take me with you to Chief Commander Mr. Bill's house. Please. Say, okay, let's go. He was riding the bicycle there. Then he took me to Chief Commander Bill's house. The first thing when I saw Chief Commander Bill's house, I said to him that, Daddy, I want to play music, sir, like you. I said, You? Where are you from? You're supposed to be in the school. What's the name of your parents? I told him. And I told him all. To the story behind the, or the scenario behind my, you know, he said, well, I would like to meet your parents because there's no way you can stay with me without knowing your parents. After some few days, he asked me to go and bring my father, which I did. But fortunately, to my surprise, my father obliged to follow me too. House. So they had some kind of negotiation that he gave my father his lawyer's address, uh, uh, Lawasin at Lawasin. Then we went there. The lawyer gave my father a form to fill. The fill it, he signed. So I came back, waiting for the next step. I remember the first uh, show with uh, Chief Commander Minister Obey's band at uh, uh, Abel Kuta Centenary Hall when I was playing guitar and people are asking me, who are you? And I said, 
I'm chief commander of Ebenezer Bay Sun. Don't forget that first uh, chief commander of Ebenezer Bay, first son, his name is Shino. Hey, hey, so you are the Shino? I said, yes. So, ah! But unfortunately, when they want to travel to the uh, to, tra to travel to North, the other part of the country, the, their combi bus, they won't contain all of us. They said, me, I should stay behind till they come. But destiny, before I know it, I was with Prince Adekule again. They were looking for that small boy that is playing guitar. And Prince Adekule, that was the time he got accident. And they are looking for someone to play guitar for the band so they can continue. He was hospitalized and we had about eight of us for auditioning. And by his grace, they took me. That's how Sashino Omadekunle, young Shino Omoni, because I remember when we went to London 1970 or 72, we, we did a record in London. The mystery about my journey is instant success. You can say, from Temi Obey, after the fracas between me and the prostitute, straight to Mayflower Hotel, from Mayflower Hotel to Shifre, Ms. Obey South, from Shifre, Shifre, Commander Ms. Obey South to Prince Adekunle. As the first show with Prince Adekunle, I became straight. That day, I became a star. That people want to see that Shino Peters or Madekunle, that small boy. Ah, and out of sympathy, that man, they thought my father had an accident. That's why I took over. So you can see the so kind of the sympathy that we surround that type of you know scenario. <laughs> From the first day I played with Prince Adekunle's band, they placed me on some percentage, which I used the percentage to see to, my, to the welfare of my parents and my junior ones. I would not collect a time. My mother will come to number two Buhari Street, Mushi, to collect my money, you know, to see to their welfare. So I've been a blessing to my parents. That's why I said, my father loved me so much. So, 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 so much. Nobody can love me the way my father, nobody can love me the way my father loves me. You know, my mother is, my mother was a little strict. But anything I asked my father from, since I was, name any toy, latest toy, my father would bought it for me, anything I asked for. So I'm happy that I was able to see to their welfare. Forget not that I promised them that I will not come back to this house until I make it in life. So then we went to London 1979, 72, then 70, 72, then I think 74. You know, finally before when we went in 1976, there was a very big fracas between the band and our guy himself, Prince Adekule. That when we came, we had to disband. I spent uh, about 26 years in the UK and um, SSP at the time used to come to the UK to perform for us and I remembered vividly how often he came and how much we were always looking forward, forward to his performance and at no given time as he let us down. He's a wonderful man and our friendship goes a long way beyond what he was doing with, with his music at, at the time. And also, when I found out his um, involvement and how deep that involvement was with the Kiribati and Serafo side of his life, 
it's amazing because I am a born Muslim, but I'm not everyday practicing Muslim, right? And when you hear religious song from somebody that captures your heart, you tend to listen more and more and more and more to that particular music. And you know, when SSP sings religious, religious music, I, I can't help but listen to it and listen to the words and listen to the vibes that it gives and the spirit, the spirit in him that comes out when these songs flows out of his mouth. Only two people have captured me in that way, in that juju industry. Sir Ashina Peters and Ayobalogun. Those two, when they sing religious song, oh man, it's something else. And then I tried to influence other people to sing this religious song because I enjoy listening to them but none does it better than Sashino Peters. So Sashino Peters is um, my mentor, my best friend. My father knows him since when he was young. My mother knows him. All my siblings knows him very well. And um, you know, as I said earlier on, he's not my friend, he's my brother. So do I know all his family from A to Z. You know, in the 90s, when we were in England, you know, we used to promote him. And um, I would bring him down to London to come and do a show for me. And we'll make money. And at the end of the day, he will be asking me, what did I want from it? I said, no. It's your money. I just want the whole wide world to know you. So what about all this money that you invested? I said, don't worry about that. This is what I want. Take all the old money. He said, no, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, you know what he normally does? Instead of him giving me that money, you know what he's going to do? Everybody around me, including my wife, that my own fair share, he will split it and said, uh, Aburuba means Aburu take. Uh, Yaomi, come and take, means my wife, come and take. You're part of this money. And, um, All his music. Then I used to sing in church. So I used to go to Celestial Church of Christ while I was young. And um, at the end of the day, he asked me to follow him to his own church one day, which I did. And before you know it, I fall great in love with that church. And since then, I was. I was part and parcel of Kerubu and Serafu um, churches in Nigeria. I even have my own church with my friends. And um, he laid that um, legacy of praising God to my life. When I left Prince Adekunle, I formed a band in partnership with Sheikh Adewale. That's how Sheikh Adewale is part of my name today. Sashino Adewale, my own given name, and Adewale is his own son name. We formed form a band together. And they had a few records. Um, I don't know how many people knew that, but I know that because my father was a broadcaster and he worked in the music industry. So. I mean, I was exposed to a lot of a lot of music that probably wasn't out there, but they were out there at the time. Um, their contemporaries were um, Admiral Delia Giodun and all of those kind of people. We wax a record, Super One, Super Two, Super Three, did Super Nine before we finally decided to part ways. So as a group, we share. My people in London, please join me to celebrate my 68th birthday and 50 years on stage. Get ready, get ready, get ready. 
this summer, Shinomania live in London. Afro Juju legend, Sir Shinna Peters, live at the world famous Indigo O2 London, Sunday the 1st of July. For tickets and info, cocobar.com and axs.com. 0208 953 1219 07495 349 431. Dates July 1st. Shinamania. Come witness Sir Shina Peters, the icon, live. Powered by One Music, One Sound, CocoBar.com, and Phoenix Media. Supported by DJA Media, Drew OEPR, and Your Fresh TV. Well, I remember that um, Shea Gradually probably had the melodies, but Shina Peters had the swag. He had the moves. Um, whenever they performed, he was the one you wanted to watch. Um, so they existed as that group. They did well, but um, I think he became a mega star when he um, did Afro Juju. When I initially met him, he was still young as well, also a teenager, playing with um, Prince Adekunle. Prince Adekunle happens to be my late father's. Um, band person who would come to you know Shagama to play for us when we had events or family parties and then we didn't see again for a while and then I just met him again when we both met on the set of the rise and fall of Dr. Unicy the rehearsals started in earnest um, those were the times when films were really shot as films on celluloid um, I love dancing and his music then was with his uh, partner at the time, Shebu Adewale. So that's why they had the name Sashino Adewale. It was an amazing band. They were hot. They, you know, they were awesome. They played live music as live music should be played. And you could hear every bit of the rhythm, of the groove, the beats. And um, we kind of had um, a following because I had my, my friends as well. You know who were who were with me in in um, in Ibadan and in Lagos, and we would um, all go and um, support him because he used to play. He was struggling, of course, you know, to make a name. Then I think he was with a, a record company called Matt Maxons. That was a record company when he had left um, Prince Adikoli. He was this. You could see that he was very hungry for for um, success. Both of them. Him and, and Shegu. So, my first album then after Shegu Adewale is Way to Freedom. Ye Oluwa, Shebi Omo Kwa Mode Ni Mi Osha Anu Fumi. Ye Oluwa, Shebi Omo Kwa Mode Ni Mi Osha Anu Fumi. My sister, nobody wants to hear the music. I went back to the studio. We shan't walk in the darkness in this world because we are very proud in the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ is the only name. Because we are very sure in that holy name. We know, we know, we know that Jesus is our Savior. Nobody bothered to buy the. Okay. You see, then, artists, we go to studio, we are like government uh, 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 speaker. We would like to sing about the current issue. Then that was when the tenant and the landlord. Then I said, Oronile, Tabiara Degbe, Otisumi. Yes, nothing. But before all this, there are a lot of court cases here and there. Because when I left a company called Ibukurisu Records and Mud Moxing, the owner of the company, we seized the opportunity to set another label called Red Cadet label because he doesn't want any problem from Prince Adekunle. And I said to myself, we can't continue beyond that song, but once shadow. We should create our own. Then me, I, I don't go to any club than fella. So there's no way we can compromise our ideology. After so many, many, many years, even before then, they took me to court. I will be in court today in the morning with uh, Justice so-so-so. He will transfer me to another magistrate. 
Yaba, and magistrate, so, 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 that one will transfer me to Igbo Sheri. At that age, you can imagine. But thanks to God, at the end of the day, I went to Scarlet Records, owned by uh, Chief Olubume Aboda in the North Punch. May so rest in peace. Chief took me like his own son. May I watched the uh, all these records. But when you are waxing a record, you are doing a record. Nobody, they don't, they don't even know you again. That is how Omoinio lo sure how me that people see as a very, a very big star. Nobody knows me again. To balugu lowo ayaba eje. To balugu lowo ayaba emu. Pikuru jeba loji. Mani omo mini abro mini emo mini ore mini she success has so many fathers. So all this one just like that. But what prompted me to create my own star? Because I continue managing, playing, playing. But I said to myself that look, if his blessed memory uh Alaji I in the barista can do something like Fuji Reggae that nobody wants to reckon with Juju again and me I'm playing Juju that I've watched a live play between our uh, pioneers and Alaji Barista and Alaji Barista flowed there I said to myself wow I must do something now. I don't know how to play Fuji it's only Juju I can play I asked myself that I want to know what people are dancing in that Fuji then I went to where Barista was playing twice. Then I can feel the African percussion. After that, you just be hearing African percussion. We call it Omele. That is what you hear from me. People will shout, Oh, I said to myself, okay. It's not the lyrics, nor the music itself, is the <laughs> Omele African percussion, okay? Then I want to use a stone to kill so many birds. What? I want to cut across to students. I want to cut, cut across to the youth, generally. And I ask myself that, okay, if I can do that, I have to play something near what they are enjoying. Then I went to phase two. Jibo. All the students, they cannot even sing what they are hearing. But it's the heavy vibes. Fine. That is, if you love Shino music, say amen. You buy me music for for you, man. You will say, you will tell you say, I bet come that thing, but it, but music. Same thing goes to my house. So, so I want to my people in London, please join me to celebrate my 68th birthday and 50 years on stage. Get ready, get ready, get ready. This summer, Shinomania live in London. Afro Juju legend, Sir Shinna Peters, live at the world famous Indigo O2 London, Sunday the 1st of July. For tickets and info, cocobar.com and axs.com. 0208 953 1219 07495 349 431. Date July 1st. Come witness Sir Shinna Peters, the icon, live.
powered by one music one sound cocobar.com and phoenix media supported by dja media drew oepr and your fresh tv use like i said before is tuned to kill so many birds then i went to fella for an advice but i said actually no <coughs> you want to play music yeah 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 boy go and look for the music that will suit your voice Fela was the first person that that let me understand that every can, everybody can be a success, successful artist. So far, you can find a music that will suit your voice. My voice is very husky and he asked me to go and look for music that will suit my voice. And at the same time, I should make my lyrics 50% Yoruba and the remaining 50 on Pigeon English. So I'll be able to carry my audience in Portacourt, my audience in Kano along. Oh, so with all this, I said, okay. Now I went back for good four years for research before I can now finally come out with my creativity, my own music that I, you know, I can. I'm proud owner of Afro Juju, so, which I started with Ace. And then boom, in 1988 he dropped Ace. And I still remember vividly the whole noise and hype that accompanied that, that whole release at the time. And I always likened Sashina Peters to the band. See, when Shina Peters came out, the Ace album was like, woo! But when the Shinamani album came out, that was like, I just took the world by storm. When I say the world, I mean, in that bubble that we have in Nigeria, Shinamani was a monster. It was like a monster. And, um, and um, it was just something that we didn't, we knew that something's coming, but we didn't know that it would be that big. Is it mad? The first time I actually heard Sashino Peter's music was the Ace album. And I remember being upstairs, we'd been sent upstairs, there was a party going on downstairs uh, and the children had been sent upstairs and you know the mothers and the fathers were all up and dancing as soon as this music came on. The bass, the beats, the drums, it was almost like something we'd never heard before. It was Nigerian pop, it was synthesizers and guitars and things like that. Um, it was the first time that I as a young girl reckoned with Nigerian music. You know, when you're a child, all you want to think about is American music and what uh, New Edition is doing or what Bobby Brown is doing and things like that. And all of a sudden, here was this sound that even children and young men, young women, mothers and, and, and fathers could dance to. And I remember seeing the, the mothers in all their Gele Skentele and they were all dancing and it was just, an aspirational moment and that moment has stuck with me uh, 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 for the longest time it's just been wow this is what Faji Kelele actually looks like at every gig or any album that was going to be dropped you knew that you would be seeing something different again it's like okay what's the star going to to be adorning this time around and he never disappointed every time there was something wonderful that he would come up with that would make him stand out you know and i, I always say apart from fella he was the next person was sashino peters when i was a teenager my i remember that my sister used to dance to sheena a lot at the time she would lock herself in the room and dance to this 30 minute long you know um that me long tape. I remember then, and we danced for 30 minutes or an hour back to back, and everybody's sweating. He song, he had a, he had some sort of tempo that all the other, the song for all the other songs from that era didn't have. That tempo was really, really, you know, it got everyone dancing, if you like. And it's quite funny that Shino has lasted for so long. That same song, Ijoshino, has been there for multiple decades now, and. Every time you play it, people still respond to it as if it it, it happened, it, it just got released. And for people that heard it when they were kids, it kind of reminds them, you know, of a lot of things about their, their youth or their childhood. And in those days, there were some things that we see in videos that are like, maybe like a slow motion, a freeze. So when, so, so, uh, so when she now says, um, how about, hey, and all those things that 
that you don't hear in um, um, normal uh, music that you hear in Nigeria. Shino brought, brought that. And he, he brought that kind of um, that, that star quality. And you also, uh, you also, uh, also have to understand that Ace came out in 89. Shinamana came out in 1990. And that two years, that was, a, that, that was a monster year. This guy did so much that everyone was just surprised that, wow. I was a very little boy. I think I was about eight or nine. And we we're all sleeping in the house and my dad just came with this new sound. You know, the speakers just was blazing off with this beep, 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 beep. So everyone was scared, like, oh, what's that sound? What's that? But it was a bit of excitement, like, that must be music. So we all went to the lounge and we saw our dad dancing to Afro Juju, Shino Peters. And that for me was, you know, um, was, was magical because Shino Peters came with a different sound. It was him bringing the Juju, because Afro Juju that he created then was the hip hop sound from the Juju music that you know like we were used to hearing from our dads listen to so I could say Shino Peters is the whiskey than the Davido of 20, 30, 40 years ago It's just a stepper you know what I mean it's not Michael Jackson but that's how I'm like kind of Michael Jackson you know what I mean it was crazy there's a bit of spice, sauce, swag um, it's just it, his brand was just an exceptional one you know I, I, I believe that at the time that it was at his prime, it was the ladies' man, and everybody just wanted it. I don't know; I've not done too much research into this man, but I'm sure it is that time. So I, can, I would compare him to a whiskey, the Davido of our time, or more like a Davido, because he looks the kind of energetic kind of person, like Sashino Peters. He still wears his cap and still gives them bling bling. You know, he's still trying to go with the trend. But yes, exceptional legend, man. Um, he's also. A very, very, very shy person. Um, people don't know. He's exceptionally shy. Probably why he hides behind those big goggles a lot of times. Um, when Shina's speaking with you, he can't really look you in the face. He can't really look you in the eyes. He's so shy. So I think music uh, is also his escape. You know, it enables him to come out of that in you know, a shy cocoon and just be himself. <laughs> I think his shyness also probably makes a lot of ladies um, find him very attractive, you know. Um, he, he will just sit there smiling, coyly, um, not talking much. Um, uh, but any time he said something, everybody will be on the floor because he was, he's just a clown. One thing, one thing I know is that when you go to um, Shinopita's Shino office and you walk in there, I don't know. I don't know how how, how it is now with um, all the um, <laughs> Afrobeat stars. But when you walk in there in those days, you see all different shapes of women, slim, curvy, you name it, different shades as well. Everyone just coming in, sitting down, looking beautiful. Different, also different age as well. So when you come down there, everyone everyone has come to see star. Chino Peters still continue to play a large part of our social life. Now remember, it, it's, it was his kind of music that brought us to where we were, where we actually started appreciating Nigerian music. Don't get me wrong, uh, we had the Sonia days of their time and the, the, the Obey of his time as well. But there's been a long departure from Nigerian music to more Americanized, Westernized music. Um, so Chino Peters actually kind of brought us back home as young people. And and a lot of the strains of the kind of music that he did was visible in the kind of stuff we started listening to Lagbaja, Konko Below, um, Nodu Gra Gra For Me, um, Awilo Logomba came on the scene and all of a sudden being African was cool, listening to African music was fantastic. Peter Peters was incredible, I was a young kid and I was like wow, my brother is super excited about Shino Peters even though he listens to R&B, hip hop, dancehall, but he had a thing for this traditional performer that kind of blew his mind away. And then immediately after that, I started to listen to the songs and I understood why my brother was so excited. Shino Peters is not only one of the biggest musicians to come out of Nigeria, but I'll say this, he's one of the best performers to ever step up. He introduced the drummers, he introduced celebrating women on stage, he was a player, he was a showman, he had the outfits to carry everything off. So when you listen to his music, you remember.
remember how strong a performer he was. As you people would say today, it was like a wave. It was um, it, everyone danced to it. It was energetic. It was fun. It was music that crossed over. Um, it was danced to in the east, in the Middle East, in the north. Everyone danced to Afro Juju. And because it had its own peculiar dance step, which was, you could say it was a bit like our uh, garbage pa patch that we danced to at the time. Um, and a bit like a move called the snake, you know. So it was, it was university students could identify, old people could identify. It was a serious wave. If you were not dancing Afro Juju, you were not alive. You know, and it went across borders too because I remember I was in um, Abidjan and it was played in a club and everyone was dancing Afro Juju. So I think it took West Africa at least by storm. Um, I always like to say that my first, um, my first encounter with that kind of music was with the Inde Barista's uh, Fuji Garbage that merged uh, English and Yoruba and the beat in a way that it appealed to university students and young people. So Fuji Garbage for me was the first one and then Shino Peters took it a step further, put more energy in it, put more innovation in it. I came up with Afro Juju, built it up with Shino Mania and so on and so forth. The latest survey of my followers are more popular in the eastern part of the country than even the Yoruba. That is the success for the music. That is what we call undiluted creativity. It's not easy to, to be playing live music week in, week out. You know, it, it, it tells on the body, the wear and tear, and then also the traveling up and down. So it was, um, you know, it was wonderful to hear that at the time, and also when he also was able to begin to understand um, intellectual property. Chief Commander, Chief Commander Abinis Obe was my mentor then. Till date, he's still my mentor and my music father. Fela is, like, is, Fela is my idol, which all respect to my late Oga, accommodate my idea that is that is to tell the whole world that without him maybe I wouldn't be what I am Prince was the first person that took me from Nigeria to London not once not twice several so I appreciate all of them like asikwa wa you to reo kon ye binu wa a man that we like to use the influence of his music to unify the country. Thanks to God that today there's no more komot ngbati ngbati music. There's no more Yoruba music cannot be playing uh, uh, in the northern part of the country nor eastern part of the country. Thanks to God that the music that, you know, the combination of everything and it's not by my making, it's, it's, it's just the grace of God. Because I remember the day uh, Sony Music uh, approached, uh, I call him my uncle, Lal Wilkins, ace producer, to listen to the music. The only thing that I will ever, ever appreciate Uncle Lalu for is, he's a good listener. He listened to the music he said, you know, I'm not going to touch this musical because this brand of music I've never, I've never hear it before. But I want the music to sound exactly the way you wanted it to. And he did. And when the music came out, the same music got scattered all the hours of Nigeria, uh, Nigeria music, uh, music award, MMA. And before we knew it. The Shinomania virus is like fire. So raw, it is not an easy thing to create music and people accepted it the way they, they did. 
I don't see myself as the maker. I see it as if God just wanted to use me. That's all. I've made my mark by His grace. I've contributed my own quota by His grace. And I'm happy for what the youth are doing to the industry today. Though there's no way you can be a successful artist without negative story here and there. But they should know how to manage it. I mean, I salute their courage. I appreciate their gods because it's not an easy thing to say I want to be a successful musician. So um, for me, Shino has been, he's been very, very influential to things that are going on now in the music industry. He was a new age of his time, you know, he was a whiskey of his time, if you like, because I remember he started um, his career at age of 10. So he has, for me, since I saw him in the recent times, the last five years, I've wanted to get involved with him, you know, deliver, re-delivering him to the new audience and to his old audience who have, you know, who have been sorting after him, looking after him, looking for him and he hasn't been able to engage or present himself to them. And um, since then I've looked at him as, you know, that man that has that, you know, new, new, new lease of life in the music industry that people need to listen to. I mean, of course, as I've gotten older, I've, I've gotten more, I've gotten, I've begin, I started appreciating even what he's saying in his music. Um, I wish him all the best. Um, I believe he has, God willing, another 60 years to come. He'll probably still be doing what he does on stage. I just want him not to have a pot belly <laughs> because with a pot belly you can't really jump much on stage. I'm amazed that he's only 60. Um, he's, 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 he started out quite young. Um, I thought he was at least 10 years older than that, but um, it's good to see that he has a lot more mileage. Um, I wish him long life, prosperity, uh, a lot of strength, good health. And for somebody that is 60, and I've been on that stage for 50 years, you must have been doing something right. I wish you well. May God continue to bless and protect you. May you live long with good health. I always say to you that the sky is the limit for you. I pray more and more for you to be first in life. And by the grace of Almighty God, we shall be in England together to celebrate that 50th anniversary on stage. My people in London, please join me to celebrate my 68th birthday and 50 years on stage. Get ready, get ready, get ready. This summer, Shinomania live in London. Afro Juju legend, Sir Shinna Peters, live at the world famous Indigo O2 London, Sunday the 1st of July. For tickets and info, cocobar.com and axs.com. 0208 953 1219. 07495 349 431. Date July 1st. Shinamania. Come witness Sir Shinna Peters, the icon, live. Powered by One Music, One Sound, CocoBar.com and Phoenix Media. Supported by DJA Media, Drew, UEPR and Your Fresh TV. Heritage, heritage television. television. Promoting African culture and heritage at its best. From talk shows that concern you to both local and international news that relates to you. From grassroots football to African children's programs, 
Heritage Television. We cover your social and special events like weddings, birthdays, church anniversaries and so on and broadcast them live on our apps and online. Heritage Television. Broadcasting everything about culture and heritage. Heritage, heritage Television. Television. We've got, We've it, got covered. it covered. Do download our apps on both Android, iOS, and Windows mobile platform. Heritage, Heritage Television. Television, your very, your own, very own TV, TV station. station.